Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, as I count of the Steves. Now, why am I back with some more news to do of No Man's Sky? Because Hello Games and Shaun of the Murrays has just done another tweet that's got people a little bit perplexed, a little bit confused, and me also. But I'd imagine there's quite a lot of new players, even more so than normal. So anyway, let's jump on over to the Tinterwebs and have a look at what Shaun of the Murrays has gone and tweeted out this time. Let's get on over there. So here I am over on the Twitter space. And as you can see, Sean Murray has gone and tweeted out this cowboy made out of the Earth or globe emojis. Yes, a little cowboy hat face. Yes. Well, he does this quite often. Not as often as the Gib emoji. And this has only really started happening since we saw expeditions alongside either ports to other platforms or updates that have come with an expedition at the same time. So anyway, scrolling down, these are all the times that he's actually done this little cowboy emoji. So he'd done it with Endurance and Polestar. So Endurance was the main update. Polestar was the actual uh, expedition that came with it. And you can see here it's a little muscular arm. On the Mac update, he also did it again. And with the Apple Mac sort of um, port, they brought out the expedition called Singularity. And then he, he also done it again when they put out Fractal, uh, which was a port for PlayStation VR 2 support, and also an expedition called Fractal, which, yep, yeah, we'll get on to in a bit. And then he also put out this telescope emoji, and that was for Waypoint. And I believe that's when it got point ported over to a Nintendo Switch. So anyway, let's go and have a look at the actual um, the tabs up here. Because at the moment, I'm a little bit confused, people. Because why would he do that with the Earth emoji? I don't know of any other platforms it can go to now. You know? Unless it's going to go to some streaming service like Amazon or something. Who freaking knows? Anyway, we've got No Man's Sky Endurance. This was a pretty hefty update to come to think of it. It gave us new interiors to all of our freighters and pretty lovely interiors at that. It gave us more ship slots as well, I believe. It was a pretty darn gnarly update, this one. And the actual expedition that came with it, Polestar, you actually started on your freighter bridge as a freighter commander, and it was a little bit different to any of the other expeditions, and it was st it's still amongst one of my favourite expeditions, even to now. And the actual overhaul to the actual freighter's interiors was well needed. It put a whole new lick of paint to our freighters and made them look freaking wonderful. But what I would say is the actual content for this, playing about with the freighters, yes, it did last a little while. It probably gave me probably a week's entertainment at best. It wasn't weeks and weeks of entertainment, unlike Next and Beyond and all those that have given Gib updates, so Gib sort of emotes for emojis from good old Sean. So it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird that we've seen this cowboy drop. Um, however, this did come with a pretty decent expedition with it, which awesome. Very cool. It gave us the uh, Polestar Expedition. It gave us Dynamic Crews, which have now vanished from our freighters. Yeah, my freighter's got no crew on it. Need to go and check now. A drift has ended, whether that's still the case, whether there's still no crew there. I'm going to check that probably tomorrow or something. But yeah, pretty hefty update when it came to Endurance, to be fair. And you could also destruct and blow up sort of, you know, the freighters and stuff in this one. It also gave us the organic frigates and feeding them and all that sort of shenanigans. So there was a little bit inside of this one. This one wasn't too bad. This is the best. So out of all the cowboy emoji updates, this has been the best one. OK, so moving on to the next. And this is Expedition 10 Singularity. So this one is when it got ported over to Mac. This is where the little cowboy is made out of apples. And the Singularity update came out. Now, the Singularity update did bring in this sort of new narrative. It was part of the ARG arc that's happening inside a game. We've had three parts to that. Echoes was a part. Singularity was a part. And the other part sort of eludes me. But yeah. It's a case of going around and learning a bit more lore, building the autophages. It was quite a fun expedition as far as expeditions go. It was very narrative heavy. I did enjoy all the additional lore and all the little nuggets and tidbits that are in it. It was quite nice as a, an expedition. Did it keep me occupied for long? No, it didn't. Not when it came to content. You know, I, had, I haven't got an Apple Mac, so it only appeals to a certain crew, really. 
Okay, so the next one was the Fractal Update. Now, this was the Snowflake sort of emoji that got dropped by Sean. And this one got me seriously hyped because everybody knows that a Fractal is, you know, infinitely generated and procedural in a roundabout way. This was a PSVR 2 lift and shift and upgrade to PSVR 2, essentially first and foremost. And then we also got a little mini Utopia expedition that came along with this. And you could actually get this ship that he's flying in right now, the Utopia Speeder, even though on the screen it says Golden Vector. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they've reskinned that. I've only, I've only just spotted that golden vector on the screen. Oh, that's funny. You know, whenever people want to bring a ship into the game by using the save editor, that's what they do. Just overlay a skin on top of the other one. Good to see that they do that in Hello Game Studio. Oh, that's a lovely little nugget. That's, 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 I made me chuckle to myself. But anyway, there you go. So it brought it to PSVR 2, which was a great undertaking, but it, you know, these are all cowboy sort of updates, expedition related updates, ports to other console sort of updates. I've never seen a cowboy alongside a gib is what I'm getting at. They're poles apart. The gib is reserved for very special, very large, big marginal updates, whereas the cowboy is for more expedition base or ports to other platforms and consoles. So here we go. Waypoint introduced an update 4.0 and this was over to Nintendo Switch. And let's uh, just restart this little trailer here. I did record this video once and then realised I didn't press the record button. So yeah, that, that that's me in a nutshell anyway here we go so this was no man's sky waypoint it was quite a brief small expedition that didn't bring in too much when it came to narrative and lore and all that sort of good stuff unlike singularity and waypoint what waypoint actually done was removed everybody's sort of inventory sort of stacking in a roundabout way you used to be able to put some tech modules inside of your storage and boost stuff you used to be able to do a lot more min maxing but then they made it so technology was where technology went inventory is where your inventory went and everybody was like well i've just upgraded all my stuff and spent weeks doing it and now you've got to nerf it all and then about a week and a bit later hello games actually added in boosted slots and that sort of appeased quite a lot of the people that would doing the min maxing to a certain degree this update really divided the community because they also added in a difficulty switching button so you could swap difficulty on the fly so you could just put it into creative mode or almost in god mode get whatever you wanted and it sort of removed the grind so a lot of people were thinking okay you've you've got nerf all my freaking tech and my numbers now you've gone and nerfed the fact the fact that you know people can just jump into creative and get themselves some of these stasis devices that I've had to build a farm for that took me freaking God knows how long within seconds. It kind of destroyed a lot of the community's sort of feeling with No Man's Sky. It made it feel more sandboxy rather than it being gamified. People were thinking it's going to go over to Nintendo Switch. Surely they're going to gamify it more. No, they sandboxed it, <laughs> which was complete opposite to what people were thinking, myself included. Ah, but I've now warmed to this whole sandboxy idea, especially since I've got like, you know, over a thousand hours in game. Swapping into creative mode is something that I do often now. I've just accepted that it's part and parcel of the way that Hello Games feels that we should play. And I've adopted it. So yeah, every now and again, I might go and craft myself a load of stuff. Or if I have gone and found a new ship that's took my fancy, just stick it in creative mode and re-put all the gear back in for free. You know, why the fudge not? So anyway, this was a lot of UI tweaks, a lot of like jiggery pokery and like a, a small expedition to boot. And that was pretty much everything that this came with. It There wasn't too much there for anybody that hasn't got a Nintendo Switch at the end of the day. So oh, it did come with Twitch drops as well. So Switch and Twitch, lovely. Golly, yeah. but yeah. That's, that's pretty much everything that has happened inside of these sort of updates that have got a cowboy. So the worst one I would say would be Waypoint at the very bottom. And at the top end is Endurance and Polestar, which is at the top end of this. So that's kind of what the cowboy means to me and how I'm envisaging this. I mean, I've, I've gone and done this video mainly because I've done a video on the Gib and how excited I am for the Gib. But whenever I see a cowboy in a, made up out of the emojis, I'm thinking this is going to be mainly expedition focused and content is going to take a secondary seat to that. It's going to be expedition first and foremost, content secondary. And these sort of updates that have just the expedition, 
I tend to be able to run the expedition in the space of hours, not days. And sometimes Hello Games have these expeditions going for weeks. So if it is an expedition with a little bit of content, it might not be a lot of content to keep long legacy players busy for long, is what I'm getting at. If it is based on a gib, and you've got the updates like Origins, Next, with inside of there. You've got some real big ones, like Prisms, Visions. All these things kept me busy for a lot longer than one of these Cowboy updates. The fact that we've seen both, this has never happened before. This is unprecedented. So could it be that we're going to be getting a massive Gib update alongside an Expedition? That's the most positive way to look at it. The other way to look at it is, well, maybe this is going to be ARG Part 4, a tying up of that in one heck of a mahusive expedition with a little bit of side content that could be considered by Sean and the Murray and Hello Games as content in a way of maybe the game saves, being able to move them from platform to platform. Maybe it's going to be a functional gib, a little bit like Beyond was a functional gib, where it brought VR to the actual verse. So we have had a gib that's crossed over into functional when you look at beyond. So right now, people, although I was really excited when I saw the gib, because the pole at opposites as you know, beyond is right down at the bottom of the list. At the top is things like next and origins. The, the transition between the two, something that's in the middle, is going to be freaking awesome. It could be like visions, the abyss or whatever. It, it's going to be big content wise. It's going to keep me happy for a couple of weeks. But then when you do the same with the Cowboy, yes, we've had Endurance, which uplifted all of our freighters and gave us Polestar, pretty decent expedition. We've also had Waypoint in there, which was very divisive. And um, a lot of people still have an ill feeling about that one. And if you've tried to slap it somewhere in the middle there, uh, you, you've got something like Fractal. Uh, and that was, that was okay. But after we got the Utopia Speeder, they gave us Sentinel Interceptors, which made the Utopia Speeder feel like it was from a junk shop, because those freaking Sentinel Interceptors were awesome! So, there we go, people. That's my thoughts and feelings. I'm still excited, but this cowboy emoji has really thrown a spanner into the works, into my old speculation grey matter. How do you feel? Sound off in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Are you feeling the same way? Or are you just thinking, oh, just it's only going to be a couple of days, Steve. Don't lose any sleep on it. You know, that's kind of what I'm telling myself right now. Yeah, anything is better than nothing. And right now we've got nothing. So let's just, anything's better than nothing. And it's free. So you've got to take the positive. Every cloud, silver lining. But we did get that gib. And to be fair, Sean has gone mental on Twitter. He's really promoting this. So I shouldn't be downtrodden. I should have faith that this is going to be a big one because of the amount of hype push that Sean has now done. Excellent tip. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.